creative friends this is joy coming to you with another art journal page so i had this page where i glued down a napkin using um some gesso white gesso and i decided to put this little panda on here that i painted a while ago in my other journal and i shrunk him down and printed him out and now i'm just cutting him out to put him on this journal page so that's what i'm doing here i'm just uh, quickly cutting around him so that I could add him to the journal page. And I really like the polka dots. I thought it would be really cute to put him on this black and white journal page. But in the end, you can't really see the polka dots anymore uh, once I add color, which is okay. So I rounded the corners on the bottom so that they're not just, you know, corners. And then I look to see what I was going to color the page with and decided to use some of these uh, dilution and ranger ink sprays. So I got the pick pistachio, the bubble gum, and the calypso teal. I believe it was calypso teal. Yes. So I put up my spray board so I don't spray everything on my desk and um, I put something behind the pages as you can see here to protect them and I sprayed it on there but it wasn't really covering as well as I wanted it to so I grabbed a brush and you know decided to use that to spread it around and the uh, blue didn't seem like it was spreading it seemed kind of dry so I just sprayed some water on there to loosen it up so I could get it to spread which that helped and then I put the pink in the upper corner which is really nice and bright. So once I got the pink on there, then it seemed like that the other colors were too muted and I decided to go back in and try to get them to darken up. And the pink pistachio is a really light color, so that wasn't really darkening up um, as much as I wanted it to be. So I grabbed an Anirondack spray, which was lettuce, and sprayed on there, which is a darker green to get that uh, to be a little bit darker in that corner. And then I sprayed the blue again, the teal, and it seemed to um, darken that up uh, pretty nicely. And then I decided to dry the, the whole thing. So while that was drying, I went through my stash and found a couple of uh, quotes and this tag. And I decided I wanted to paint this tag black so I just grabbed some acrylic paint um, to paint the tag black and then I wanted to do a green border around it so first I paint it black and I set it aside to dry and then um, I come back here in a minute and I do a green border and I but I decided this page needed like some more decorating so I grabbed this little swirly stamp and my Stazon ink pad seems to be drying out, so I grabbed my Ranger archival ink pad and used it to stamp these little swirls on the page while I turned it in different directions. I really like the way this turned out. It turned out really cute. I was happy with it in the end. And it ended up being just a real quick little page that I put together. I just wanted to do something but nothing that was going to take a whole lot of time. So here I grabbed my Elmer's Extreme glue stick and used it to glue down the quotes. And you can see here the one quote says, even if the odds aren't in your favor, always hold on to hope. And the other says, with a positive attitude, you can overcome anything. So I thought those two were cute quotes to add to this page. And then the quote that I put on the tag um, says something that, to the effect that, um, you know, you can always uh, start anew starting from now, <clears throat> which I thought was kind of appropriate and went with these two quotes. So I get the rest of these two quotes down, and then I turn to another page and put the glue on the back of the panda 
to glue him down to the page. And I grab my a credit card to try to smooth him down and make sure he's good and adhered to the page. So then once the uh, tag um, is dry enough, I don't know if it was completely dry, but dry enough, <laughs> I grabbed a paintbrush in my green and um, started going around the edges of it with the green. When I went through my tags to see which one I wanted to put on this page, I found one that was a round tag and had a green border that looked really nice, but it was bigger than I wanted it to be, so I found this oval one and I'm like, well, that'll work. I can, I can work with that. So I did go around the um, tag twice to make sure that that green is really nice and dark and green. And that's what I'm doing here, going around it a second time. But I, I you know, like this page the way it turned out. I thought it turned out really cute. Um, but with the adding the colors, um, you could see on the left side page all those dots just kind of disappeared. You can see some of them on the right uh, side of the page behind the panda bear, but pretty much they disappeared on the left side. So then I grab my Posca pen and I'm just going around the edge of the quote just to outline them really quickly. And this, you know, um, like I said, was just a really quick kind of page to do something creative. Sometimes I'm not in the mood to like spend a lot of time. Um, and so, you know, on those days I just try to do something where it's um, doesn't take a lot of time but it gets me you know something to do creatively and um, you know I don't feel pressured and you know to have to do anything like you know major it's just fun to do something that's simple and creative like this. So I go around outline the whole bear. And uh, then I, you'll see here in a minute, will adhere that other quote to my tag and put that on the page and then outline the whole page. So it's a pretty quick, easy page. Um, if uh, you like this page, you can hit the thumbs up. Or if you want to subscribe, you can hit the subscribe button, or you can leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. Um, like I said before, I really like doing these art journal pages, and they're a lot of fun to do and share them with everybody. I'm not affiliated with any, any products or anything like that. I just like to let you know what I'm using, just uh, so that you're aware. And, of course, I got... That wet green wasn't completely dry, and I got a little bit of green on my finger and smudged it on the quote, but, eh, things like that happen. So I grabbed um, my Elmer's glue dots and decided to use that to adhere this quote to the page. And then I grabbed my Posca pen because I felt like the whole thing needed a border and decided to do like a wonky, kind of squiggly border on the whole thing. So that's pretty much the art journal page for today. I thank you guys for stopping by and watching, and we'll talk to you again later. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.